Good morning, you guys. The fence is down and the side yard is being blocked by garbage cans right now. Today's a very, very exciting day. I'm sure you could tell by the title and the thumbnail photo. The tree is finally coming out, the big private tree. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never been so excited to spend money on something that I absolutely hate. <laughs> but it's gonna be so good. We have a tree removal company coming in about 40 minutes. I'm starting to get a little bit sick. So we'll see how this video goes. Um, they're gonna remove the big pervert tree. They're going to, um, what else are they doing? They're gonna grind the stump, which is really exciting because I wasn't sure if I was gonna do that or not. And then they're gonna limb up the pecan tree that you guys heard dropping giant pecans on me. And then um, the pecan tree is also the one that we have an issue with, with dropping all of the um, aphid honeydew in the summertime. So that's going to be totally taken care of. Well, it should help being taken care of by getting rid of a lot of those branches. And I think I'm gonna have them trim up this privet tree. It's also our neighbors, but a lot of it hangs over our driveway. I don't know how well you guys can tell. Here's the front of the house. And then this privet tree hangs over all of this right here. And you guys can hear the birds right now. They're all in this tree and they eat the berries from the privet tree and then they poop on my car. And it's really not fun at all. My car ends up being purple <laughs> um, because the berries on the privet tree are purple. Let me see. Uh, they they eat all of these berries right here and they're a very dark purple color when you smush them you see oh these ones are not purple yet oh yeah they're a little bit purple so brent spent last night um tearing this fence down and then um they're just gonna drive the like skid steer back here and when they come back here they're just gonna end up like driving over some of the plants which is totally fine because um i wasn't planning on keeping this so they'll just drive straight down here and then they'll be able to come under here and let me give you guys another look at this privet tree i think brent's trying to clean up dog poop right now because we have a million dogs <laughs> oh look that's all our garbage from the shed super fun but this is the privet tree that's coming out and it'll grind this stump down so we won't have roots going everywhere and this thing is so full of berries right now it looks black because of all the berries so as you guys can see look at that privet tree also look at that wonky pine tree <laughs> um privet tree this guy absolutely massive and then some of that privet tree not that one the one in front of that actually is getting cleaned up sounds like they might be here i think they're here let's go and this is just some of the pecans that the pecan tree drops and it drops them all in the beds and then they all come up in the bed and then here is that tree and you can see it's actually hanging on some of these lines so we really need to get it cleaned up for that okay that was not them <laughs> it was somebody else and look i have dirt all over my hands we have irrigation running right there and i was having to dig it out <laughs> so both of my hands are now covered in mud super fun but this is weird. <laughs> so what he'll do is he'll drive the uh, sump grinder in through here and just straight down. Um, it wouldn't fit through the gate right there. So we had to take this panel off, which is super easy. We actually ended up doing the exact same thing for our wedding when we got married. We just took this panel off and it made it really easy because we had to get like this giant metal or this giant like wood bar thing back there and it did not fit. <laughs> I am beyond excited for this tree to be gone. This thing has just made me mad <laughs> since we bought this house it was nice we thought at the beginning we thought oh, it was going to provide all this shade but it really doesn't provide any shade at all during the hottest point of the day um usually by then the sun is over on this side and the shadows are all over there so it doesn't really it doesn't do anything for us and it's just a pain so <clears throat> this has been long awaited we will no longer have the i hate you tree it's officially going to be gone so I'm gonna set up a couple tripods. They said that I could film them while working. And um, at the end of this video, we will break down cost of everything and um, who we ended up using. The dusty miller looks great. We're not gonna talk about the Helen von Stein lambs here right now. It's been eaten so bad this year, but this won't be happening in the garden anymore. This is another little privet tree from one of the berries and it's gone. There are some of them right there, those are some privets, those are some privets, and then there are privets all along in there that I need to pull. So this is why I cannot wait for this tree. It's just absolutely awful. And then um, you can see the ground right here. This is all berries, and each one of these has the potential to turn into a privet tree. 
so it's just awful this thing litters um these berries in the winter time and springtime and then in the springtime when those berries are coming up the tree is flowering and those flowers start to fall and then everything is covered in like a white yellowy film that turns brown because of the petals are teeny tiny little petals and so this thing just makes a mess year round it's dropping berries it's dropping flowers it drops leaves it like the birds eat it and then there's poop everywhere and then there's trees coming up everywhere so if you have a privet maybe think about not having a privet because <laughs> this thing is terrible <laughs> especially here in california they're they're not invasive um they don't deem it as invasive but oh man do they take over and they have no problem growing extremely fast so let me show you guys because this is not the only one in the area so back this way with our pile of garbage this is the pecan tree and um, there's tons of birds in there right now too but this is going to get limbed up so basically this branch right here is going and that's going to make so the willow tree can grow a little bit straighter but right here is a privet tree and um, we usually come in and clean that privet tree up a little bit and then there's this privet tree and then this is a multi-trunk privet tree and then there's another privet tree right over there so they're just oh the worst absolutely awful trees and then i think we're going to keep this multi-trunk one because it was going to cost a lot more money because it's in between the houses and um i didn't really want to risk having that thing fall so the tree removal company should be here in about 15 minutes so i'm gonna go inside um because it's cold out here i've already got cameras set up to be able to film some of this so i don't have to be super hands-on because i am not feeling the best so I'll see you guys in just a second when they get here.
okay, it's gone. There's our pile of chips and dirt from it. And the tree right there got all cleaned up and the trees in the driveway got all cleaned up. It was amazing. Huge, huge, huge improvement around this property. <laughs> and so um, it feels more square. It doesn't feel like such a bowling alley here on the property, which is really, really nice because it felt very like long and skinny. Now it feels more stretched out. Next step for us is we're gonna be removing all of the like concrete walkways um, so we can start really preparing the garden. And it makes it feel not like it's two spaces. It feels like it's more one connected space now. It's so weird. So the tree is gone. That is so crazy. He got in there, he ground the stump down. That'll all settle down a little bit. It's kind of raised a little bit and then we'll kind of like level it out some. And then we'll look at, this is gonna make it so the willow tree can really fill this whole area. And he climbed the tree, got all of that out. We told our neighbor that he was gonna climb the tree and she was like, yeah, whatever, do what you need. And so we got all of that cleaned up right up to the fence line. And this is gonna give this willow tree room to breathe and fill out. So this, hopefully this year we'll be able to fill out this way because you see it's starting to go this way, a little top heavy. So hopefully that helps that just a little bit. And then they cleaned up this privet tree right here quite a bit, which is really, really nice. Cause I mean, you guys, it came out to like here, which is not great. So we'll still have one more privet tree on our property. We're just gonna keep it for now. Um, I mean, while I don't love privets as they are, I just didn't want to deal with taking that one out because it's so close to that house, to our house and their house. And we've got like the wires and everything. So that might be a later day project or it might just stay there. We'll see what happens. But this looks so much better. Now we just got to put the fence back on. I still can't believe that that tree is gone now. It's so exciting. I'm just staring at the pile, <laughs> which is just crazy to me that it's gone because it's been something that we've wanted gone for so long. And um, it feels... Like I can breathe in the garden again. It's crazy. Um, so it's nice that it's done. So the tree company that we use is called Kimber Tree Services and um, they're local to Los Molinos, which is really cool. And they go all over the area. I'm gonna put their description up on the screen and I'm gonna put it down in the description down below. Contact them if you guys need anything because they were amazing and they had like the best prices. They're licensed, insured, bonded, and um, they worked so fast. And so we got the pecan tree done, we got the privet tree done, stump ground, and then the trees cleaned up in the driveway and it was um, $1,250. So I think that that's an amazing deal compared to some of the other quotes that we had gotten. We've had quotes from like five different people. And there was like one that we were gonna go with and we weren't gonna do the stump grinding because it was an additional $500 just to do that. So hands down amazing. You guys like, they cleaned up everything. Like they blew off the yard. They cleaned up the flower beds where they got like wood chips in. Like you can't even tell. Like there was wood chips that were landing in the like seating area and they blew off the seats and everything. It literally looks like they weren't here except for this pile right here, which is, which is crazy to me. Um, I was totally kind of, I was actually expecting, I didn't know how it worked. I was expecting them to just like cut everything down, grind it all up and like leave. I thought that's like how it worked, but they literally like cleaned everything, which was amazing. So I'm gonna go inside now because I'm still not feeling like the best. <laughs> it's, it's actually really cold out here. I was gonna do another video today, but we're gonna go inside. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoyed this video. I enjoy not having this giant ugly privet tree here anymore. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.